When you work in the Layers panel, two of the things that you do quite often are flattening images and merging image layers, but they give you two very different results. Let's start with merging. I have bird, bunny, dog print, and flattening and merging text layers, including a background. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that what I want to do is merge the bird layer, the bunny, and the dog print together. Now remember, the bird is actually a smart object. Now I know that by that little icon right there, which means smart object. I can click on this one, hold the shift key down, and then click on this one and select all three. I then can go to my options right here and go down to merge layers or merge visible if I have some things off. I'm going to go here. Don't forget the shortcut if you use this a lot. I do. It's Command E on a Mac, Control E in Windows. I now have three layers in one. Now let me turn the background off for a second. I still have my transparency. I still have the ability to move that layer if I want to, but I've consolidated three things together. And the good news is, and since they're technically separated from each other, I haven't really done much except give myself more room in my layers panel. That's kind of nice. But there is one thing that happened. The bird was a smart object. The bird is not a smart object anymore. Now let me do this. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go in and tell the computer I want to bring that stuff back. If you are in the Essentials workspace, then if you click this button right here, you get History. And I love History. It's multiple undos. So that's what I just did. I took us back in time. Let me go ahead and close that out for now. We have one type layer. Now I can still get into that typing layer and change the words. It's a type layer. But let me do this. I'm going to shift click down here. You can do them all. Come back up here again. Merge layers. I still have my transparency. I have lost my smart object, and the text is no longer in a layer defining text, which means it's pain on the screen. I can no longer change that but the visual look is fine. Merging allows you to keep things like transparency, which is cool, but you lose other things in the process, but it might be something you want to do because of how you're working. Again, let me come back up here again and do the magic undo. What's flattening? Well, let me do this first. Let me throw away the background. I'm going to delete it. Delete on a Mac, backspace key on a Windows keyboard. So we have four layers. One's a type layer, one's a smart object, two are just pixel layers. If I come up to this button again and say flatten, watch what happens. Everything is flattened into a background. And remember what backgrounds are. No more type, no more moving stuff. It is locked in stone. Yet there are times when you need to do that. So when you're working on consolidation of what you're doing, remember there is a big difference between flattening something or merging something. Let's go ahead and move on.